All right, so we're doing a whole day today and um, it's gonna be a pretty easy workout. It's gonna be very lat focused. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a lot of like pretty much lat exercises and kind of like trying to build the width on my back. Um, I have two different pull days. So my first pull day is, well, this pull day where I'm focusing on my lats. And then my other pull day is really focusing on the thinning on my back, which is like the second pull day of the week. Um, that's pretty much how my days are like going, essentially. Um, so essentially the first pull day that, or the first push day that you guys saw was my first push day of the week. This is my second, or this is my first pull day of the week. And then I'm gonna do the first legs and then I'm gonna do another push pull legs video, but it's just gonna show my different push and pull days. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, essentially the next vlog is definitely gonna be legs. Um, but after that, it's gonna be back to push and showing my other push day that I actually hit yesterday, but couldn't vlog it. So yeah, essentially we're just gonna go hit pull. Very lat focused pull workout. Um, obviously hitting the biceps and the rear delts, but yeah, see you guys in the gym. All right, so I actually start my back days with some lat pull downs. Nothing too excessive, just really trying to warm up my lats and my, my entire back, basically. Honestly, starting with lat pull downs, I've honestly, I've always done this on like literally every single back day I think I've ever hit in my life. I've been doing lat pull downs right away. And honestly, I'm still seeing progress, so I might as well just keep doing it until it just stops working, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but as you guys can see, I ended up dropping the weight a little. I was actually doing 130, and then this is 115 here. Um, I am really, really, really am focusing on the stretch on my lats uh, when I do this exercise. For me personally, I just see way more progress, so I might as well keep doing it. All right, so for my next exercise, I actually do a close grip row. This is not the best angle. I was just trying something new with the mirror. Um, I think I was doing like 85 or something like that uh, for this. And I wasn't really focusing like on the stretch on my back as much. And I was kind of just focused on the angle of the video. And I wasn't really focused on the workout. But yeah, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to drop the weight or sorry, up the weight and then uh, continue working out. Um, but yeah, honestly, Close grip row for me again. I've always did lap pull down to close grip row. That is just how I work. So, yeah. All right. So this is uh, the proper working set for my close grip row. Just a little bit of a better angle too. Um. So, with this for me, I really like to extend my lats. Like as you guys can see here, I like kind of not flex my lats when I'm like. Uh, not when I'm pulling the weight, but when the weight is like going towards or like going away from me like that, I like to stretch my lats and kind of roll my back just a little bit. Um, I was doing 115 there and then I ended up lowering uh, to 100 um, just to finish my set. Uh, the last set was pretty good, it was pretty good, but like it, it definitely could have been better. So I kind of went a little bit heavy um, on this second set, which I probably shouldn't have did, but it's all good. So my next exercise for back is lat pullovers. For me personally, I've been doing lat pullovers and my lat growth has been fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. As you guys can see, I'm trying to put my chest up every single time I'm gonna go pull back to really activate my back. Um, for me personally, sometimes I don't do that and I kind of just pull the bar directly towards me, which is not terrible but i definitely could have more gains if i continue to like put my chest up like that and as you guys can see i did like six eight reps and i was absolutely exhausted my lats were absolutely destroyed after this for me personally i really do feel my lats when i do lat pull downs i don't know what it is but i hear from people all the time that they that they feel it in their arms or something but for me personally like i only feel my lats and i always try to like flex my lats as i do this exercise too so for my next exercise is face pulls. For me personally, doing face pulls on my back day is honestly amazing. And really focusing not on my rear delts, but really focusing on my upper back. This has helped grow my back probably the most. Doing this, I was doing 120 in this video here, sitting down. And as you guys can see, when I, I really pull it to my back, I get a very, very good squeeze. 
um and as you can see like it's just absolutely destroying my back and it still gets some rear delt activation and doing 120 pounds just sitting there honestly helps so i'll take it now my next back exercise is actually a close grip lat pull down for me personally i love this exercise i feel like i hit a lot of my upper back um in this and a lot of my lats too as you guys can see i actually completely extend my lats completely out like right there like i don't know what it is but I, when i do that i feel a way better stretch and i feel my lats and back way more and it's just amazing i don't know like i don't know how to explain it i've always did it like that um and yeah i don't know it's just pretty good and i end up lowering the weight here doing a little bit of a drop set uh, remember guys this is my second set for most of these videos so and as you guys can see here like this has honestly grown my back a lot too this mix with face pulls has been just amazing and i'm not really using my arms like i'm using most of my back and honestly i don't feel into my arms when i do this so i'm going to continue to do it all right so the audio for this clip is absolutely terrible but I kind of wanted to show uh, just a little bit of the pump. I did hit my biceps too, but I literally couldn't record it because some of the people in the gym uh, were kind of getting upset. So I just kind of just stopped recording and kind of just focused on my bicep workout. But as you guys can see, like my back is still decently very, very developed. Like it's still a little lean. Like I'm definitely too small. Like I definitely need to bulk. But like, yeah, I don't know. I still have a bicep vein and my shoulders are looking pretty good. And my rear delt is absolutely popping. Um... But yeah, as you can see, like my back is not bad. Like I like look at that. Like I have a vein on my back. My lats are really showing. And honestly, if it's I just need to hit more of for my lower back, I think, and really focus on that to really make my back become like a little bit better. But my lat, like my lat spread like that is honestly terrible. But um yeah, just a little bit of posing. Uh my I don't really have that many abs and my lats are still very small just because Again, like, I am 18, like, I'm not super developed yet, I don't have a lot of muscle maturity yet, so a lot of my muscles, like, aren't gonna look as big unless I start really bulking and really taking care of it, so anyways, that was the end of the back workout, hope you guys have a good day.